Hi guys, today we are doing a special water decal application tutorial using the Going Mary's painted flag part and the pirate symbol water decal. I had filmed this during the ship's assembly process and have only now gotten around to editing and uploading this tutorial video. Tools I'll be using for this task are a pair of scissors, the Mr. Mark Softer liquid solution, a tweezer, a mini wet palette, some cotton buds and paper towels. So we'll begin by first cutting the water decal out from the decal sheet as close to the outlines of the straw hat pirate symbol decal as I possibly can. Just note that these two pirate symbol decals were in turn cut out from the main water decal sheet earlier. Be sure to do this in a well-lighted work area lest you cut into the decal itself and ruin things before you even begin. Next, I'm going to place the water decal that I had just cut out onto a mini wet palette that's designed specifically to work with water decals. The mini wet palette is just a rectangular container with a sponge that I had filled with water to completely soak up the sponge. The water level is just slightly above the top of the said sponge. What I'm doing now is just to add some drops of water onto the decal to make sure that the decal itself is covered in water from the top layer as my way of quickening the process of loosening the decal from the sheet. What's actually happening now is that while the water decal lies on the wet palette, a layer of water is slowly seeping in between the decal itself and the sheet it's resting on, thus loosening the decal from the sheet and allowing it to be transferred onto the surface of the relevant parts. The time it takes for this to happen varies depending on the quality of the water decals at hand. Based on my experience, cheaper low quality decals tend to detach from the sheet faster compared to more expensive higher quality ones. Aside from this, age of the water decal can be a factor too, with the time it takes for the water decal to loosen from its sheet becoming longer the older the decal is. This seems the case for me here as the water decal comes from the older scale model kit in my collection, one that I had purchased more than 10 years ago. That is the Bandai scale model kit of the Going Mary ship. Now I am intentionally letting this video run in real time rather than fast forward over any of the time consuming parts. I am doing this to highlight the most important trait you should exhibit when working with decals, and that's patience. Rush things when you are working with water decals is a recipe for disaster, I almost guarantee it. As you can see from my unsuccessful attempt to slide the water decal onto the flag part with a wet cotton bud, the decal hasn't yet loosened enough from the sheet, so it's going back to the palette for now. As mentioned earlier, the water decals are pretty old, so I'm going to soak them in water a little longer than I usually do, and while we wait, in real time, I remind you, let me just readjust the camera so as to better position the view you are getting within the frame of the shot. And I'll resume the running commentary once I'm ready to try applying the water decal again. So that was as much fun as watching paint dry. Anyway, let's give this another try. I'm just wiping off the excess water from the decal sheet. Nope, it looks like the water decal hasn't soaked enough yet. And on second thoughts, I think I should cut even nearer to the decal outline in order to make the transfer process easier. The faster the decal can get to its intended surface, without having to slide over the decal sheet means there's less chance of the decal tearing apart. Before I try again, I should point out that I have soaked the cotton bud I'm using for the decal transfer process with water off camera. I actually have a, a cup of water uh, that is not within the frame of the shot. And I then press out the excess water so that the buds are just slightly wet. 
I find that it helps prevent the water decals from sticking onto the cotton bud. If this happens, the decals will more often than not get damaged. It seems that the water decal is in need of yet more soaking in the water or the mini wet palette. What I had said earlier, it's all about being patient. When things like this happen, one tends to get impatient, start hurrying things along and thus damaging the decals. So let's try this yet again. It's attempt number four, I believe. Finally, the water decal is starting to move a bit. While holding on to the sheet with tweezers on my right hand, I'm using a wet cotton bud on my left hand to slide the water decal from the sheet onto the flat. And that's the easy part over and done with. Next, while the decal is still wet on the flat part, I'm using a wet cotton bud to adjust the decal's position on the flat. Take note that as long as the decal has not dried up completely, you'll be able to reposition it with a wet cotton bud. But do it slowly lest you tear the decal. If you feel that the decal has dried up too much, it will help to add a few drops of water onto the decal. And what this does is to ensure a layer of water remains between the decal and the surface of the part, thus giving you more time to work with the decal's positioning. Now while you see me touching the decal with my gloved hands, it's something you should generally not be doing. Here I got lucky and the decal did not end up sticking to my gloves. Instead, try doing what I'm doing now, that is, working the decal's positioning with a slightly wet cotton bud. At the same time, I'm also flattening out the decal in places by removing any air bubble or excess water that might be trapped underneath the decal. Apart from using a cotton bud to make the water decal flush with the part's surface, there's actually another step to this flattening process that involves the use of a softening agent called Mr. Mark Softer. Why do we need to use this softening agent? To know why, let's first understand what the Mr. Mark Softer does. Its main function is to enable decals to conform to rough and curved surfaces. My earlier depths with the cotton bud only serves to remove any air bubbles and excess water from in between the decal and the surface. The softening agent, which I'm using here, will soften the decal and make it stick flush with the flat part, which not only has curved, but also rough and textured surfaces. It's critical to note that when the agent softens the decal, it also makes it more fragile and susceptible to tearing. To avoid damage, it helps to handle the decal delicately with even more care. Here, I'm just spreading the softening agent evenly across the decal. Once you are happy with the results, lightly tap on the decal with a dry cotton bud to remove any excess softening agent, as well as to ensure that all parts of the decal sit completely flush with the surface of the flat. I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but when manipulating the decal, do it gently and with care. And in the event you find yourself needing to reapply more pressure to the softened decal in order to completely flatten it, I suggest you do it with a cotton bud that is soaked with some water. Like I'm doing here now. Because the decal has already been softened and is already fragile, I find the use of a wet cotton bud greatly helps to reduce the chance of further damage. Follow up by drying the water decal slowly using gentle light taps of a dry cotton bud to remove any water or softening agent that is left on top of the decal. At this late stage of the process, the last thing you will want happening is for the decal to become misshapen, torn or worse, to fold in on itself. All of which can happen if you use too much force when handling the decals. Here, and I can't stress this enough, Patience is key. So I'm going to just keep quiet now until I have the decal as flush as I can with the surface that is stuck on.
at this extreme close-up view, I would like to draw your attention to the rough texture on the surface of the flag. Look closely at the straw hat pirate symbol and note that the said texture can now be seen on the water decal itself, which means that the decal is now flush with the surface of the flag. I'm just giving the decal some final taps to ensure that it's completely flush with the flag. This then was an example of a water decal application that more or less went according to plan without any major issues. But it doesn't always work out the way we want it to. So next, I'm going to show you how to deal with a water decal that gets damaged during the transfer process. But before we move on to the second part of our tutorial, let's have another close-up view of the straw hat pirate symbol water decal on the flag part a water decal application process that went off without a hitch or did not encounter any major issues such as uh, damaged and torn water decal. Similar to the earlier error-free tutorial that had just concluded, this section of the video tutorial that includes working with a torn or damaged water decal will be carried out in real time and won't be fast forwarded at all. It's essential to see the patient pace you need to work at to resolve the water decal application issues you face. Technically, what I did wrong was to try and slide the water decal onto the flag part before it had sufficiently soaked in water and loosened from the decal sheet. Constantly dragging at the crossbone section of the water decal while the main body was still stuck firmly on the sheet was in hindsight an action born out of pure impatience. As you can see, I've torn the top left crossbone section right off the rest of the straw hat pirate symbol water decal. So if you ever feel like you're chasing time or in a race against the clock, I would advise that you take a step back and revisit the task when you're not in such a hurry. It looks like sufficient water has permeated the layer between the decal sheet and the decal itself, thus enabling the latter to slide from the sheet and onto the flag. Now comes the hard part of realigning the separate pieces of water decals before they dry up completely and become permanently stuck to the flag. And I'm doing this in real time to emphasize not only the need for patience during this repair process, but also to point out what may not be so obvious to inexperienced scale modelers. That is, you actually have more time than you think before the water decal dries up, so there's no need to rush things. Moreover, adding a few drops of water to the decals at the early stages will rehydrate it enough to prevent them from drying up. Alternatively, you can do this indirectly by wetting the cotton bud you are using to move the decals around, which is what I just did. The caveat being the more you do this, the more you have to manipulate the water decal, then chances are the decal will weaken and eventually get damaged again. Initially, I'll try making the decal as flush with the surface it's on by just lightly dabbing all over the decal with a wet cotton bud, as you can see me doing here. It's a painstakingly slow process that comprises a series of light dabs in places where I can see an air or water bubble trapped underneath the decal, or in other words, places where the decal does not sit flush with the surface. Another thing I want to highlight about what I'm doing that might not seem too clear in the video is that I'm at times alternating between a dry cotton bud to remove excess water that may have accumulated on the surface of the decal. At this stage, I haven't yet used the Mr. Mark Softer softening agent that is used at the latter stages and used sparingly to prevent the decal from becoming too soft and unmanageable, that is becoming prone to damage at the slightest touch. For the next half minute or so, I'm going to pause my running commentary and let you watch me do what I had just described. I'll be back when it's time to use the Mr. Mark Softer. So I'm back as it's time to use the softening agent on the water decal. 
in most cases, the decal is unable to sit flush with the surface without the use of the agent, as was the case here. I'm using the applicator brush included with the Mr. Mark softer to apply the softening agent onto the decal. In the event you need to reposition the decal again after using the softening agent, I find that adding a few drops of water again can sometimes help the decal to regain some mobility for the repositioning process. Either that or use a wet cotton bud to manipulate the water decal. But please be aware that this is not always the case. Sometimes the decal has become too soft and fragile to be repositioned again without tearing. Regardless of whether I'm applying water or a softening agent on the water decal, it's always eventually followed by the drying off of excessive water or agent from the decal through the use of a dry cotton bud. Be extra careful at this stage of the process because the water decal is now in its most fragile state before it becomes completely dry. Essentially, after the initial application of the softening agent, subsequent steps will see me alternating between a cotton bud soaked with either water or softening agent and a dry cotton bud, repeated until the water decal is flush with the surface. Why then do I sometimes use cotton bud soaked with water and other times one soaked with the softening agent? Well, it all comes to feel. And what do I mean by that? You see, when you are manipulating the water decal up close at this late stage, you should be able to roughly tell whether the decal is still strong enough to withstand being handled with a softening agent or has become too fragile and needs to be manipulated with a less caustic solution like plain water. Regardless of which you use, just remember your ultimate goal is to flatten the decal completely and get it to conform to the surface it is placed on without tearing. And while it's easier to use just softening agent and lots of it to quickly flatten the decal, you do so at the risk of further damage to the water decal. And using a water-soaked cotton bud also helps wipe away any excess softening agent. In short, this series of repetitive steps of using agent, water, dry, then rinse and repeat to make the decal flush with the surface will use first less and less agent followed by less water before evolving just drying the decal like what I'm doing now. So this then is the end result of all that slow and careful work. The previously torn and damaged straw hat pirate symbol water decal has been realigned properly and now sits flush with the flag. So much so that the texture on the flag is clearly visible on the pirate symbol. This then concludes the water decal application tutorial using the water decals found in the Going Mary scale model kit. I've provided links to that project in the description below, so please be sure to check that out if you have missed it earlier. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you have found it helpful. If you did, please help my channel out by hitting the like button below as well as subscribing to the 4 Monster Miniatures YouTube channel. As always, Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Goodbye for now. Take care, be well and be happy.